In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to take the 3D-like titles that we can create and customize them by using images of your own on the face of the letters. This is a supplementary exercise to another lesson we've done earlier. So what we're going to do is move to the title designer, the title room. I click on the icon on the left that says T or press the F7 key and it gets me there. Now here are the, the titles, most of which are default that came with my um, copy of PowerDirector. What I'd like to do is narrow down the options to make it simple. So I'm going to click on the down arrow and just click on 3D Like. And if your system is like mine, that gives you one option. I'll take it and I'll drag it down to track number one. Now we're going to edit this. We'll customize it by either pressing the F2 key or double clicking on it, that will move us into the title designer. Uh, what that, one thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to change a couple things. I want to change the font face. You can do the down arrow, or if you know the face, uh, you can start typing it and it will change it that way. Another thing about the size of the letters, sometimes we forget, is we, we don't have the only options of what we see here. Right now it's, it gives me a font from 4 to 72. Well, I could actually type in here and change it by just typing in a number and it will make it uh, whatever I like. I'm going to click and uh, backspace this and just make it a little bit simpler. Okay, and there we go. Here's my 3D title. Now, that, another thing to remind yourself of is my real estate is kind of limited here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take areas that I'm not concerned about and I'm going to click on the down arrow. And that when I do, it turns to a right arrow and it compresses the submenu. So if you want more real estate and have it less confusing, any submenus you're not working in at the moment, you can do that too. We're going to work on the 3D texture settings. So I'll click on that right arrow, turn that to a down arrow so I can see that submenu. And then what we have here is we have a whole host of options that we can choose. I can highlight this correctly here. There we go. If it's jagged edge, it will apply. And I'll click on the different options I have that are built in. I have gold, I have a brick over here, I have a silver, or I have none at all. And one thing I'd like to do is change this to some uh, facing of my own. So I'm going to click on the button that says Add Texture. And that will take me to my file system where we're going to do one. Let's try this one that says Cat and Mouse and I'll open it. Now what I've done if I look at the bottom is I have a new face called cat and mouse. If I double click on it now my little cartoon is the face of my letters. Kind of cool. Alright let's try another one. Uh, we're going to do add texture again. I have one here called uh, textile. I'll click on that and add that to my list. Again if I scroll down this is another one. I double click on it and it added that particular face. So if I like this customization, what I can do then is I can save it as a new title of my own. I'll click on Save As, and then I'll give it a name, Textile Impact. So I, I defined both the font face and the, uh, the uh, kind of graphic I'm using and click on OK and now I've just created my own style that I can use. I can uh, let me cancel out of this right now and what I all I need to do now is if I look here in my options I have my own face. All I need to do is double click on that and now I can start with this. I can edit it, change it, uh, do anything I want to because now it's my own style. So that's an easy way to customize a 3D title in CyberLink PowerDirector using graphics of your own choice.